ever have a project idea or business idea, but no one seems to get your vision for it? You spend so much time explaining what this is going to do, how this is going to be different, why they need to help you with this project, or maybe it's just you focusing on the project and you just have trouble envisioning the end result. Today, I'm going to share with you some of the best tools to help you build your projects faster. Whether you are a designer, a coder, maybe you are neither, you're non-technical, you are a product manager. These tools will still benefit you. I'm going to share with you tools that will take your designs to code, automatically generating code, to helping you find really unique domains, creating logos, and so much more. These are some of my favorite tools that I personally love to use and they've really helped my workflow, speed up my workflow from ideation to actually building a physical, well, virtual product. Also, you know I gotta say this, before we get into it, hit that subscribe button for more future tech, tech, well it's all tech, future tech, you know what I mean. Coding, career, all of the good stuff, uh, videos, leave in the comments, any other topics you want me to cover, any questions you have. I love you all so much. I can't tell you how much fun I have creating these videos for you and connecting with you all. So thank you all for your support. Okay, enough of that sappy stuff, let's get started. Coming in at number one, you might have heard of it before. I would say it's one of the more popular uh, tools out right now that will turn your designs into code. So you can use this tool to turn your uh, Figma file or yeah, mainly Figma file into React code, CSS. It is mind blowing. So let's go into what does LocoFi, LocoFi have to offer? Well, first thing what I found really interesting about it when I was playing around with it is how quick it works. So it's a plugin that you can integrate into Figma. And I am someone who is not a great designer, but it was really cool to see how this came to life from idea to actual code. This is by no means production level code in the sense that after you are complete this, you will still need, there are so many missing pieces from this project, but the fact that you can now lean on tools like this to generate at least starter code for you, I think is such a win in the right direction. So with LocoFi, you can actually export your code really simply. Uh, one of the examples that I see that they use a lot is with TypeScript. So it's very up-to-date modern coding practices, which I think is really key too. Oh, okay, I gotta take this off. You can see by my face, it is really warm in here. I don't have allergies, but my nose is getting so red. All right, that feels better. Let's go to number two. Okay, next on the list is if you are like me and CSS is one of the hardest things to achieve. I don't know what it is. I just don't have the patience for it or the eye for it. I don't know, the design, I'm just always like never perfect. One of the things that I recently discovered, here, it's on my computer actually, it's called CSS Scan or Get CSS Scan. That's a lot of S's. And it's really cool because it's completely free and you can literally just choose what uh, box shadow you want to use, which if you have done box shadows before, you know, there are so, it's not just one box shadow. There are so many to choose from. So this is a great, place to start, you literally just copy it, click on it, copy it, and then you can paste it into your project. That simple. This, I know, who thought you'd get so excited about box shadows, but you do. Okay, so, so far we have been able to turn our Figma designs into code, React code or whatever the case is. Then we were able to, you know, customize it a bit further with CSS box shadows. We need a logo. We're building a company, we need a logo, you need a logo. So here is where I would go. It's called Luka, Luka, L-O-O-K-A. How do I pronounce that? Leave in the comments. And what it will do is it is an AI platform that will generate unique logos for your brand. I think this is really cool because all you need to do is input what you are looking for, what your brand name is, and it will generate different options for you to choose from. This is, I think, a game changer. I remember when I was creating the Tiffin Tech logo and I went back and forth so many times with the graphic designer on this and it was great, he was phenomenal, but if I would have been able to, I would have saved so much time and worked so much quicker by just being able to use a tool like this. So I think there's a lot that you can really lean into here. Now there is, it does cost you, this tool is not free, I should say that. Um, I do believe there is a free version that you can test it out and play around with it, but it is a great tool for anyone looking to really dive into creating a logo, which honestly, I didn't realize how important or stressful finding the right logo is, so I hope this helps you. Okay, coming in at number four is UIZERD, 
it's like lizard, but with a U, we gotta put it up on screen here. I'm horrible today at pronouncing names. You wizard, let's go with that. And that's similar to, kind of similar to the first one where we spoke about, which was turning your designs into code. But there is so much more I find that this one can do uh, than just the specific plugin for Figma. It's really incredible. So let's go through the website here. So you can see here, there is design, there is wireframing, mockups, and prototyping. So even AI design, let's go there. And you can see what you can do is literally select what device you are going to be designing for, input what you are going for. From there, it will output the actual design. I don't know, this is pretty wild to me. As someone who really struggles with design, this is, it really takes it to the next level. And then there's also wireframe, which I think is really interesting, where you can put a sketch of your wireframe that you are, literal sketch, like pen and paper. And from there, you can input it into the system and you will see the output. So this is really interesting. I think this is a super cool tool, especially for anyone who has this idea and they want this first prototype when they are going to investors or wanna share with it, share your idea with others, you can get it to the point where people can really visualize this beautiful app that you want to build or beautiful website or company, whatever the case may be. Okay, next on the list is called Chroma. And this is going to be your favorite tool when it comes to finding a color palette. And once again, similar to I find with logos, you don't really realize how important this is until you start a business or you're building a website or even your own portfolio and you're like, this needs to flow, this doesn't make sense. So it's really interesting, you can play around with Chroma for free and on the page where you can generate uh, your, your color palette and whatnot, you actually have to start by picking 50 colors, which I gotta be honest with you, I didn't love that experience, but it makes sense why. Here's what they say. These colors will be used to train a color generator algorithm personalized to you. So for best results, choose a wide variety of hues, values, and saturations. So this is kind of fun uh, because I, I don't know, I felt like it was, who am I? What colors am I going to choose? I don't know, maybe I went too deep with this one, <laughs> but it was a really fun tool to play around with. And it is in beta, so it's not fully, you know, out to the world launched and, you know, they're, they're addressing that there are some bugs and whatnot in it, but I think it's such a cool tool to use and you can save your collections, search through different collections. They also will turn or generate each of the colors that come out for your collection into CSS code, which I think is really cool too. Go check it out. Chroma, Chroma. Okay, this next one I actually used a lot. I never have selected one of the options that they generated though, but it was super handy. So you know when you are going to buy a URL and you have this great business idea or name or project idea and name and you're like, oh, the URL is gonna be taken, like the domain's gonna be taken. What is the point? How am I gonna get creative here? This tool is for you. And I get so excited because the amount of times this has happened to me, it's just like ridiculous. So what you can do with this tool, it's called only, one second. I gotta put my computer in front of me. It's called onlycoms.com. I know it sounds kind of like something else. Onlycoms.com. And uh, so what you can do is describe your project. So an online platform that allows users to create and book customized walking tours with local guides. Like get very specific about what your project you are working on is. From there, you can click on find available domains and it will share with you not only domains that are available based on what you described, but other ideas for you. Like, okay, because your project focuses on this, here's a potential suggested domain for you to use. Also too, it's kind of cool. You can go to random idea and it will input a random project idea and then generate domains for you based on that, which I mean, you could kind of work backwards if you are someone who's looking to build more projects and uh, you just don't know what to build. This is also a great tool. So onlycoms.com, it's really fun and it's free. I don't know, I'd pay money for this. This is great. <laughs> okay, it is getting dark. You can see I have my light on. This is what living in Canada does. It means that like 5.30 p.m. it is getting dark, which is just wild and not right, but that's okay. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and going through some of my favorite tools, I lean on a lot of these in various, various? Yeah, various capacities uh, because they really help make my workflow a lot easier. I know some of us are more focused on not using any of these tools because we're too cool for them or whatever, but honestly, 
leaning on tools that can help you ha improve your workflow and recognizing what areas that you might not be strongest in, I think is so key. If you are a really great coder, but maybe you're not a great designer, why not lean on one of these tools that will help you be a better designer? And vice versa, maybe you're an incredible designer, you have these amazing Figma files, but you don't want to learn code or spend a ton of time, so you generate using something like Locofy to generate code for you. Now, I mean, it goes without saying, there are still steps needed to be taken to get this production level ready, but what this does is it brings your idea to life. That's the first step. Let's not try and go from step one to step 100 of, uh, you know, this idea to creating the next Facebook. Let's just take it step by step, and these tools will help you do so. All right. Now that it is 5.30 or 6 or whatever time it is, I gotta go make dinner and feed the dogs. Thanks everyone, I will see you all soon. Bye.